my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alina and I'm an author and on YouTube I make videos about the pleasures and pains of being a writer. Today is a different kind of video for me as this is my first ever tutorial and I'm capturing my screen and all that jazz which I've never done before but you know, fingers crossed everything goes according to plan. What we're talking about today is using Juto to format ebooks. This is my personal preference, but I've reached that conclusion that Juto is the best ever after doing quite a bit of research. So let's go right into it and let me show you what it's all about. So this is Juto. This is a book I've been already working on. What I'm going to do today is start a new project and show you how to format your books from the start to the end and see how fast it goes. To create a new project, as you've seen, I click new here, but you can do the very same thing by going to file and hitting new project. The first details you'll have to enter are about your book and first we'll go with book title. The year of publishing this book, which for me is 2016. For the subject, you can leave that blank, but I usually go with the genre of my book and here you have to paste in your description that's about it i will add a test here just because i already have a project for this book and i do not want to overwrite it and now all you have to do is hit next and start the process first you have to decide what initial formats you need i do not use most of these what i use is epub and Mobi Pocket, which will create your Mobi files. Then hit next. For the layout choices, we'll just stick with the defaults and the same goes for image options and import options. Again, the section headings are perfectly okay with just what's pre-selected. These are the paragraph formats, but if your text is already formatted, Juto will, will keep those formatting options active. Now hit next and now you have to upload the document containing your book. If you would have that formatted as HTML files, one file per section, you would use that. But as we're using a doc file, which is the easiest you can think of to, to create and which is usually what we all use to write and to edit and whatever, I will just go with a simple doc file, hit next. And then Juto will ask how you want to split your document into sections. The documents that Juto uses are pretty much divided by heading, so that means you'll have a different document for each chapter and another one for your title page and everything like that. If you have used a different style for your headings, you will have to change this here. I recommend keeping it as it is if your document is formatted using H1 styles for your for your chapter headings and then click next to upload the cover you will have to browse to a specific place where it's hosted of course if you want to use their templates or design your own you can do that here just by activating create a new design and hitting one of these. I'm not very talented when it comes to creating covers. So yeah, that's not going to happen for me. I'll just click finish and be really, really thankful that I have an amazing uh, cover artist. Now, as you can see, because we do not have a heading on our copyright page, these will not be split. You can split them into different sections if you add a new document here so you can just click everywhere in here and add a new document but it will add it right under whatever you're clicking so this should go under the title page you can call it copyright and then you can just select this text cut it and paste it here in the new document we've just created. However, this will be then added to your table of contents and I just don't particularly like that. So 
the solution I found was to go here. Oh, there's an indent. Before we go any further, if there are any indents like this, you will get compile errors in Juto and you'll have to remove them. So if you encounter any, just remove them to begin with. And now, to make sure these don't show up on the same page and they're separated when people read their ebooks, I'll just go to, to, to format, insert, and add a page break. And that's it. Moving on, you will have to check each, each of these documents, each section, to make sure everything is in order. As you've already noticed, this doesn't look like it's justified but it actually is. You will have to just ignore this because when you upload to Amazon or anywhere else, the text displayed in their previewer and whenever a reader downloads the book will be justified just as you've formatted it. So there's no, no need to worry about it. What I'm looking for is something that Juto sometimes does, which is add random bookmarks throughout your book. They don't exactly affect anything, but they don't help either. So I just remove them. To remove them, all you have to do is click them once and hit remove. And as you go through the document, you will also notice any last minute formatting issues that might have squeezed through your many checks and proofreads. Once you're done with that, you'll have to build your table of contents. Of course, you can do that in Word, but that will not help you very much for an ebook because what Juto does is based on their custom table of contents, they build an advanced table of contents for the ebooks. So people who read an EPUB or a Kindle can access the table of contents directly from their reader and navigate, which I find very useful. To add the table of contents, just go to book and build table of contents, just like that. I don't leave it to Juto because sometimes it messes up stuff or adds too many or too few chapters. So I just go with create contents with Juto's help. I keep this checked because if I add a new section, a new document here at some point, Juto will scan through the document and add it automatically to the table of contents. So I don't have to worry about that. And I keep this checked because I do not have a contents page. Either way, it will ask you again if you want to add a page because there isn't one for a table of contents. As you can see, just click yes here and check these settings. This is the max heading level that it will go to. And this is important. If you have many subheadings in different styles, unless let's say you have a main heading that's heading one and then you have heading two, three and four, unless you increase this here, the heading four won't show up in your table of contents. Not exactly sure why you'd need that unless you're writing a nonfiction book, but just in case you need it, you know where to find it. Their table title style is automatically added to your heading once. As you can see, this is the matching style for this level. And if you've used something else, this is where you have to change it so that the right headings show up in your, in your table of contents. And then just click next and do a final review to make sure all your chapters have been added. If not, you can add more here from the sections that are already created in Juto. Or if you need to remove something, you just hit this button, which I won't do now because <laughs> we still need that. If let's say you've not been paying much attention and this chapter was supposed to be in front of this one, you can just change the order easily with these little arrows. I've never needed it, but you know, just in case. Then hit next. Here is where you want to check your automatically built advanced table of contents option because as I said, this is important for ebook readers. It will make the user experience way better and then just hit finish. And you have it. This is your table of contents. As you see, it's a new page, a new document, as they call it, and it's all perfect. All you have to do now is hit compile. And it, it found an error. These compile errors, you have to check them so that you can go further. 
usually is because of, as you see, indents. Or actually, it's a tab instead of an indent, and that needs to be removed. And by removing that, I just noticed that I forgot to do something important, which is to make sure I actually have a dedication in my book. See, this is the reason why you have to go through each document in your project and make sure everything is in order. Otherwise, important stuff like this one will be missed. And now, when you compile, let me show you something. See, you do not have anything like a dedication here, but when you hit compile, Juto will automatically scan the files and add it here to the table of contents. That's why that particular option from earlier was so important. Now, everything went well without errors, so all you have to do now is export your EPUB and Mobi. To do that, you go to File, Export, and select the format. After that, you will be prompted to choose which sections you want added to your ebook, unless you have a reason for it, all of them should go in. So just hit OK, select a destination for your ebook to be saved, change its name if you need to, I say go with the author name as well and hit save. The same basic principle applies for Mobis. You just go here, export, select Mobi, and it's the same thing. Just select your destination to save and click save. Mobis usually take a bit longer for some reason, I've never figured out why, but it's usually under a minute, so it's not like it's a long wait. While it does that, we'll... Okay, it's done. We'll pop over to the Juto website, because I want to talk about pricing and the reason why I choose Juto to format the ebooks. First of all, they had a pretty good video tutorial, which is here, available on their website, which was created by an author, and I found that really helpful. Pretty much I downloaded the software, watched the video tutorial, and I was ready to go in like 10 minutes. It took me about half an hour to format my first book, just because it was such a different structure for a book. The first book I ever formatted was my brotherly novella, which is part of the Famous on the Internet series, and this book has a really different structure than the normal chapter after chapter structure most books have, so that's why I struggled with it a bit. But from my second book, it really is easy to create ebooks <laughs> because it took me like five minutes, ten at the most, and now as you've seen, it goes pretty steady and fast. The price for this is about $40, it's actually $39, but depending on where you buy it from, there will be a VAT to consider. I think it was one or two extra dollars for me. This is a really great solution for self-published authors. First, because it's cheaper than having someone format your ebooks for each release. And it's even cheaper if you think of subsequent updates. As it happened in my case, I had to update Don't Dusk to update the information at the end of the book about the second book in the series. The previous ebook, which is uploaded to Amazon was with the pre-order link for Dusk to Dawn, which is the second and final book in this series. And uh, now I had to change it because the book is live, it's no longer on pre-order. If I had paid someone else to do that for me, originally, I would have to pay them again to do the edits. And I can do this in like two minutes, <laughs> while going through someone else would have meant considering their schedule, their workload, and it would have taken way longer. Again, if you publish more than, you know, a book once in a blue moon, this will come in handy and it will drive down publishing costs for you. If you're a small publisher, I strongly suggest you consider Juto Plus because you can upload your templates and automate your production process to create ebooks. And from what I've seen, it's the cheapest there is on the market. So far, I have had no errors. The only errors I've ever had were pretty much user errors. So uh, if it's something I did wrong, Juto didn't know how to correct it because it can't mess with my formatting unless I tell it to. 
So anything I found in the final product that wasn't where it was supposed to be, it was because I've done something wrong, not because Juto messed up my formatting. So that's something you should consider. If you like this style of video, I'm quite open to creating more video tutorials for you. Just let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about Juto or ebook formatting in general, please feel free to ask. If I know how to answer, I will. If not, we can search for a solution together. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, I would like to tell you that if you subscribe to my newsletter, you will receive a free copy of my Game Military Romance Mission Protect the X plus other monthly goodies that happen in that newsletter. I do newsletter specific giveaways. I always announce everything first in my newsletter and there will be samples and bite-sized excerpts of my upcoming novels. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now is the time to do it. Remember to like and share if you found this useful and I'll see you again next Thursday. Mm -hmm.